so we have Halo again. He's a pac main. Uh, he wants another coaching lesson, so I'm gonna give him another coaching lesson. Okay, so basically he just says that he has cold hands and he's gonna be doing a lot of misinputs. <laughs> and uh, that's all he says, really. Um, we got three games, it looks like, so it's gonna be kind of long. So I'm gonna try to pause as little as possible. Um, Thunder Hydrant is fine there. Come on, get it. Stop highlighting. Thank you. That's fine position. Okay, I just weak. Good. Good. So I already see that his escape option is air dodge. It looks like. Approaches you, and then you turn back and he air dodges. Right. So after getting put a hit stun in the air, he likes to air dodge. And shield. Land of shield. And aerial. Okay, it's twice to use grab here. So the thing about Pac-Man's grab is it's lingering. So if you expect him to like approach you, which I know you were, um, you will. You don't really have to time the grab. You just they run to your grab and you back throw them. And it's a really good position for Pac-Man because you dig off stage and we can let's trap him. But if you're not certain they're gonna be approaching you, they can like dash and then dash back and they can punish your grab very easily. So you get very careful with the grab. Landing aerial again into two four tilts. Can okay, nice attack situation. Pay attention. You should get up. And to switch Pokemon. It's in tech situation again. A roll in. Landing area again. Landing. He landed on the ground to. Um, I don't play Pokemon. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I don't know what that thing's called. The leaf thing. And to approach. He approaches in there. And to another there. <laughs> Land. He lands. And he's going to throw another one. Yep. Good. He can run on the right side. Good. He lands an aerial again. I don't think he has double jump here. Good. Let's see what it does. Ooh, lucky. He didn't make it back. Pay attention to we Okay, good. We caught, we caught the Galga. Let's see what it does. Good patience. He's just very aggressive. Ooh, okay. So we could have threw the Galga there and get a 40% combo, right? So if you don't know what the combo is, it's... You throw like if you recatch a Galaga because you're not fast enough as your percent. If you have it in just in your arsenal, if it's, if you recatch it, which you do have, uh, you throw the Galaga. You did forward air, nair, and then up air, right? I think. No, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> um, Galaga nair up air, I think. And we just kind of approach him. Okay, again, the throwing the orange is fine. Mm, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just go with that. It's fine. But again, being here with Thunder Hydrant and Champlain is fine, too. We're off stage. And he kind of jukes you out. Uh, with landing aerial again. Landing with Hydrant would have been more safe. But this is fine. Punch that. Good. Iverson's Nair is not safe. Spot dash. Hydrant. There you go. There you go. You don't have to air dodge. You have plenty of time to get to the left side. Okay, so I want to talk about this. This this Galka is going to hit him. So um, it's not much, but it's you you look pretty cool when you do it. So if you shield this hydrant and then you side beat it, it jumps the pellet on the floor. Um, so the hydrant won't hit you twice. If you shield it and you just let go shield, the hydrant won't touch you, and then you can just side beat it for free. And you get two percent uh, of healing. If you just do that against like um, most projectiles, like say um, Wolf's neutral B, uh, Richter side B, like stuff like that, in, in your own hydrant, you get used to that stuff, and you get three percent here and there, right? It's great. <coughs> uh, sure, actually, I'll show that to you. I'll show it to you right now. So if you block the hydrant first, you block it, and then you do side B. The, the Hydra won't hit you. you. You can just let it run into you. And you heal 2%. If you keep doing that, the, the percentage that you heal for is it builds up, basically. It's really good to get in the habit of, like, um, side beam for styles. It's really good. Okay. Eek. That's kind of scary. That's fine. You're safe now. So, if you want to, like, run away and establish your ground, you should be throwing Hydra. So, like, run away, Hydra, and they get behind it and church fruit. Let's see it. You got hit for it. It's fine. You can put Ooh, so he spot dodges after a lot of people spot dodge after whipping an F smash because because they have a, a habit of spot dodging 
because well, they're thinking they're going to get grabbed. But you cannot spot dodge. Pack one's grab. So you can either throw a smash attack, which he did, and he got punished, or you can grab him. Good. Good. There we go. There we go. That's beautiful. That's fine here. Good to please. Oh, that smash. There we go. I probably would not have done that. Well, I may, maybe I might have. But again, hygiene, champlain, throw cherries, etc. You want to talk about that one? <laughs> did you waste double jump too? You did. <laughs> you double jumped in. <laughs> you probably spam me double jumping here, weren't you? Oh, you poor soul. All right, good. He didn't get embarrassed. That's fine. Backyard shield. That's backyard shield is super, 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 super situational. Don't do it too much. Don't get a habit of doing it. So again, the melon. The melon is like a set, a really good set, right? It should. It, so it does get beat by the the leaf blade thing. So I think he's still afraid of it. I don't think he knows that if you hit the Pac-Man's projectile, it pops up. So he's probably gonna shield here. Yeah. So he got afraid of you. So if you were to grab here, because now you know you have your shielding habit with the melon. You throw a melon, you grab him, right? Or you can re-catch the melon, throw it up, and throw him into the melon. Okay. So you air dodge out of the combo. Um, don't do that too much. I don't know if that was a read. I was better. You did it again. Okay, you gotta be careful of those air dodges, dude. Only do it again. You pro you did a back shield out of the shield, and we get punished for it. Again, back shield out of the shield. Very situational, and then you never do it at 0%. You will get punished. I just fine. This is like the, I think the third time you do the hydrogen and then land on top of him with the down air. Again, he's throwing side B, approaching with down aerials. Good punish. Good punish again. Ooh, almost got that. Punish that. Oh, should have grabbed. Good. That's fine. So he dashed back into grab. So Charizard, Charizard, sorry. His grab. Extremely good. I think he has like three of the throws or the kill throws, right? <clears throat> so his kill options are flare bits and grab. Oh, th both of them are terrifying to play against. So gonna throw you off. Let's see what you do. Getting hit, getting hit here is like the best thing you can do. I guess that. He neutral attacks, and lands with Nair again, and again he lands with Nair. Like, like three times in a row, and then quits the situation. Eek. That's fine. Don't try and punch it. Good. Sh oh, you should have shield grabbed. Okay, I want to talk about that. That was perfect. But he didn't roll in. So if you like jump, this is like my this is like the coolest thing ever. Like it really is. If you get this read, is you you like the you like the cool kid now. So you hit the orange. You put him in a tech situation. Now you cut you cut the orange. He's in a tech situation now, right? He's a good kill percent. You go in to kill him if you get this right. If he rolls in, if he rolls in, he's dead. So. When you reach about right here, you Z drop the orange, and if you if, if he gets scared of you and so he rolls in, he gets hit by the orange, he's standing here and he F smash. I'll show you what that looks like in action here a second. No, roll on. I missed you. Like that. Right? Pretty hard to do. He has positioned the orange in the right position. Yeah, just practice this a little bit with the opponents and you should be able to get it right. It's pretty sick. Back air, good. Ooh, because like Charizard has people with multiple jumps. Don't expect, don't you need to like hold shield and be defensive. It sucks, but you have to because they just faint you out. Unless you like and they're on the last jump, then they have to land. Then it's fine. But mm, just try not to be baited by the multiple jumps. Again, back air shield. You, you're lucky you didn't get punished. He shield grabs for some reason, and we get four to punish. He air dodged. Maybe he's trying to tuck one. That's the first time he pushes down um, for tilt. Sorry, dash attack, sorry. That's fine. He's wasting his neutral bait for garage work. So he tried reading the rule. Um, he didn't get rewarded for it. So maybe rule like rule next time. And so, because he's going to maybe expect something else next time. Good. That's fine. Again, that's kind of weird. So, we could be up here. If like last time he like, he didn't grab ledge, he jumped up here. So you can sprint up and up air. 
lands for a he lands in the aerial almost every single time. He doesn't double jump. I think he had double jump once to um, bait you out, like he did. Like I was talking about that. He lands with aerial a lot. So he double jump. He does not grab the ledge. He double jumps. You can be like jump after hitting him, like you know that rapada, and then you double jump hit him. Good, good dash back, dash back into fast match. That's how you play against those characters. Beautiful. All right, let's get to the next game.